Hello students, welcome you all in new problem series 10.N. So this is new problem framed by me. Uh, as you can see, this is a combination of inverse trigonometry and a definite integral. So how we can proceed to solve this problem? So firstly, I would like to recommend uh, to draw the graph of sine inverse sine x and tan inverse tan x so that we can analyze these two functions in the span of 5 pi by 2 and 3 pi, right? So let's uh, draw graph of sine inverse sine x. So sine inverse sine x looks like this. So this is 0 pi, 2 pi, and uh, here this is 3 pi. This is 3 pi. And uh, this corner point is basically 5 pi by 2. Means coordinate of this point is 5 pi by 2 comma pi by 2, you know, right? Uh, in similar way, we should also draw the graph of tan inverse tan x. So let's draw this graph. Now, as I have already told you, slope of tan inverse tan x is always equal to 1. So in a span of minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, tan inverse tan x is basically x. And from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, tan inverse tan x is x minus pi. So now you can see the symmetry in the graph. So by symmetry you can say tan inverse tan x in the span of 5 pi by 2 to 3 pi. 5 pi by 2 to 3 pi. It will be x minus 3 pi, right? Because it is quite obvious that tan inverse tan x will pass as through point 3 pi comma 0. So this is x minus 3 pi. And a sine inverse sine x in this span, you can see here, it is 3 pi minus x. Now you can see your denominator also. Denominator is always positive because cos inverse cos x is always from 0 to pi. And secant inverse 1 plus x ratio 7 is from 0 to pi except pi by 2. So denominator is always positive while our numerator is 0 in this span. So basically we have to integrate 0 from 5 pi by 2 to 3 pi its outcome will be 0, right? So as of now, only this problem. Thank you.